Hi and welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at solving trig ratios. I've got a little step-by-step -step to help you. First you're going to decide which trig ratio we're dealing with. Then you're going to set up the problem with three different um, values plugged in an angle and then the ratio of the two sides. So those are the three parts, an angle and the two sides. Then you're going to need a calculator to find the four, to find the value of the trig ratio to four decimal places. Then you're going to use a cross product, that means cross product to cross multiply, and then any steps to solve. So here is our problem we've got as our example. Okay, we're given this angle is 35. We're trying to find this side of the triangle, yet we know this side. Okay, so which two sides do we have? We have the two legs. So if we look from this, the reference angle is 35, which two sides do we have? Well, I, if I go across the triangle, that is my opposite side. This is my hypotenuse. So this side, this mark 10, must be my adjacent side. And yes, that's the other leg. So which tree, trig ratio involves opposite and adjacent? Notice I am not using the hypotenuse on this one. So which one is that? So let's look at our ratios. We have our SOHCAHTOA. And tangent is the trig ratio that uses opposite and adjacent sides. So we're going to take the tangent of an angle and set up this, the ratio of the two sides. So now let's set it up. So we are going to take the tangent of 35 degrees and we are going to set it up as a ratio of the opposite, which is our unknown x, over the adjacent side, which is 10. Okay, so I've decided my ratio is the tangent function. I've set it up with the three missing parts, the angle, and then the ratio of the two sides. Now I'm going to grab my calculator. So the first thing you want to do with your calculator is need to check the mode. And the mode you need to be in degrees, not radians. And this one is in degrees. So I go back to my home screen and now I'm going to take the tangent of 35 degrees. So I don't know how well you can see this, so let me bring it up. So there we go. We have the tangent and again I hit the tangent button followed by 35. I close my bracket and I click to enter and I get 0 0.7002. So you want to take four decimal places. I'm going to make this into a um, cross product, so I'm going to stick a 1 underneath that and set it equal to x over 10. Now I'm going to do my cross multiplying. Once I get that ratio set up, just cross multiply. So I get 1 times x, which is just x, and 10 times 0 0.7002 is just going to move the decimal one place, but if you're unsure, grab your calculator and just multiply by 10, and there you go. So it's 7.002 inches, feet, meters. We're not sure what kind of unit, so I'll just put units. And that is a linear measurement. So that's how you would set up and solve the trig ratios. Hope this video was helpful.